T minus 40 seconds, handing off to Atlantis's computers at T minus 31. T minus 35, 33. Clock will hold at T minus 31 seconds due to a failure. And we have had a failure. Grand lot sequencer. And NTDSP. Go ahead. But sir, we need uh, guys to go do the verification per the LCC, please. All right, CMAC. Yes, CMAC. The LCC says we need to verify using a camera, and we're positioning camera 62 right now. Okay, let us know as soon as 62 is swung over and you can verify LCC for GVA retract, please. And all personnel we're holding here at 31 seconds while we get a verification that the GVA has fully retracted for our pre-plan. This is CMEC. We verify uh, retracted. Okay, and you can verify that it is fully retracted per the, uh, the instructions that we've been uh, that we developed, correct? That's correct. All right, and STE? And NTD, STE concurs. They satisfy the requirements of GSC 13 pre pocket contingency. I'm go. Okay, I copy. And launch director. Yes, sir, I heard all that and concur. Press on. All right, very good. NTD, ST. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I need concurrence to GLS and mass to clear the hold, please. Very good. And GLS, you have concurrence. Go. Copy that. It's in work. Thank you. Let us know when that's complete. Do we have it in work? All right, guidance. And just a reminder for folks, our uh, last turn back hold time is three minutes and 16 seconds. NTD, CTLS on 212, we're ready to go. All right, very good. And launch director, with that cleanup, we're going to go ahead and proceed. Yes, sir. Please do. All right. And all personnel, we are going to pick up the clock here momentarily. And GLS, you can resume the clock on your mark. I copy that. Countdown clock will resume on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. He might have... So, for auto sequence, start. Hand off to Atlantis as computers has occurred. Solid rocket booster nozzle steering check and work. 20. Firing chain is armed. Go for main engine start. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. All three engines up and burning. 2, 1, 0, and lift off. The final lift off of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle. America will continue the dream. Roger roll, Atlantis. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. The space shuttle spreads its wings one final time for the start of a sentimental journey into history. 24 seconds into the flight, roll program complete. Atlantis now heads down, wings level on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. 40 seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines throttling back to 72% of rated performance in the bucket, reducing stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic for the final time. Engines now revving up, standing by for the throttle up call. Atlantis, go at throttle up, no action, DPDT. Go at throttle up, no action on DPDT. That call from Capcom Barry Wilmore, a transducer, instrumentation only, no action required. Atlantis now 15 miles in altitude, already 16 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, one minute, 40 seconds into the flight. Atlantis flexing its muscles one final time. Atlantis traveling almost 2,600 miles an hour, 21 miles in altitude, 24 miles downrange. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation.
Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. The main engine steering the shuttle on a pinpoint path to its preliminary orbit. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis already traveling 3,200 miles an hour, 35 miles in altitude, 50 miles downrange. 